Masonic order, that, that's not our nationality. We actually got that, from, we, we copied that off the so-called white man. That's where we got that from. So check it out. This is what the Bible says. This is the book. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, and verse 31. Bring it out. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. So, read it again. Envy thou not the oppressor. So we're not supposed to envy our, our oppressor. We're not supposed to look at our oppressor and want to do or be involved in nothing that he got going on. Yeah, we take a lot of stuff. And we do our own thing with something that he started. We make some good out of, out of the uh, stuff that we copied off him. But the most High God say don't do that. He say don't envy them and don't choose none of his ways. Read on. And choose none of his ways. The uh, Masonic order and all these secret societies and stuff. Those are the ways of our oppressor. The most high gave us everything that we need. He gave us everything that we need right here in these scriptures to fix our community, to build our community up. We don't, we don't really need to follow no other nation or none of their practices or nothing. Check out what he says here. Verse 36. He has found out all the ways of knowledge. So when God created this earth, he found out all the ways of knowledge that was on this earth. And guess who he shared that with? And hath given it unto Jacob, his servant. So to Jacob, that's what you see on the sign. That's the 12 tribes of Israel. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So we don't need the Masonic order. We got everything we need right here. We got all the wisdom and knowledge that, that from God, straight from the source. That's right. And he shared it with us. The only thing, we're not a planet. That's why we're looking for different things to help fix our community. You see what I'm saying? To the end to Israel, his beloved. So he gave his he gave all the knowledge to Israel. So I understand, you know, our people want to try to get into something to do better, but now the truth is coming out. Because for for years, the truth of who we were was hidden, and the truth of what we must do was hidden. So that's why we're just trying, jumping into everything, trying to find ourselves, trying to find some a way to help our community. But now the truth is out now. So, each one of these prophets in this, in, in this Bible, they always prophesied of a place called Babylon, the great place called Babylon, being destroyed by fire. And we, in, in these last days, we're getting closer and closer. The Most High said before that day comes, he's going to send his prophets out to wake his people back up, to restore that which was lost. So that's what we out here doing. We waking our people back up before that destruction comes. That's right. All right. So read that. This is the book of 2 Peter, chapter 3, and verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Boom. So when the, when the, when the Lord comes like a thief in the night, he's going to slide up on us. So y'all say y'all study the Bible. Y'all ever study that part of it? Okay. Okay, so you're aware that that destruction, that destruction is coming eventually. Yes. Okay, read on. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. So what can burn the elements up? What can burn all this stuff up? All the elements that, that come together and make make these different things that we see, what can burn all that up? Nu a nuclear fire. They got the, they got the weapons today to, to actually perform the work that they was prophesying back in this day. Hey, get Jeremiah chapter, uh, start at verse, let me see that. Yeah, read that, verse 11, 8 and 11. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 8 and verse 11. Bring it out. For they have healed, healed the hurt of the of the daughter of my people slightly saying peace peace when there was there is no peace so that's one of the things that goes on because in the masonic lives they follow the bible yeah what else do they follow is, it the, is this the sole authority yeah, we, we follow the so you follow the bible but let me see let me ask you this uh, in, in addition to 
bringing them off the streets, getting them off of drugs, things, those things. Are you teaching them their nationality? Is that organization teaching them their nationality, who they are? It's, it's not a thing that we teach nobody. Our thing is, it's not, in the Masonic Court, it's not about black and white and all that. It's about making the good men better. Okay, so. Bringing your fellow man up. No. We're not looking at a race. We're looking at, if you're a man, a man is supposed to step up, be head of the household, the provider, the protector. Right. That's what we're about. Now, yeah. now you said it's not about, now, within, within no, the it's group, not, it's, it's not, not about race, but. About race. If the Bible is the sole authority, you know the Bible yeah, is Bible about race. The, the Bible is, give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6, because the Bible is about race. So, you could teach somebody, and those are good things. I wouldn't take that from you. You could teach some, you could bring somebody off the streets, get them off drugs, get them out the gang life, get them a job. Those things are good, but it's nothing if they don't know that they got to keep the commandments and if they don't know that, they, that they're Israelites. They don't know their nationality, where they come from. Okay, so this is what this is. I'm gonna read this, and then I'm gonna go somewhere else, and this, I'm gonna show you why it's frowned upon. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter seven and verse six. Read it out. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto Himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So Deuteronomy, you know, who, who was the book of Deuteronomy written to? It's the, the, when you look in the Old Testament, the book of Deuteronomy was written to the Israelites. Let's read that in one and one. Because if anybody that said that they're following, that the, the Bible is their sole authority, the Bible is what they believe in, you have to teach the things that's in the Bible. And in the Bible, the Bible was written to the Israelites. That's right. Which are today we know as the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read that in Deuteronomy 1 and 1. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side, on this side, Jordan. So the book of Deuteronomy was written by Moses to the Israelites. Now let's read that in 7 and 6. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The the Lord, the Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So the Most High God chose Israel to be a special people to himself. Meaning he didn't choose the so-called white man. He didn't choose the Chinese man. He chose the so-called black man who was the Israelites. So that's very important because it's in the Bible. Give me Ecclesiastes 12 and start at verse 10. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Yep, black. Everybody that's on this sign are blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And I must, I can show you also. I had a brother. We can show you also how we know that because this Bible it was written to the Israelites. But today, nobody like we're the blacks, is, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We the only people that know don't know our history beyond slavery. Jeez. Beyond 1492, if you ask, a, if you ask, uh, if you have a, a white man come down the street, you ask him, uh, what's his nationality? He said, oh, my father's German, and they come from such, 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 such. But us, we say black or African American, yeah. and those are not nationalities. Bring it out. Those are things. Those are new things in the earth. We were never called. We was called colored and Negroes. But then every every ten or so years, it's another name that come out for us. Teach. Afro-American, Negro, color, all of these things. I think African-American is what, about 15, 20 years old? Right, Jesse Jackson created that term. So we, we are the only people that don't know our history beyond that time. But the Bible, our his, the Bible is our history book and it shows us who we are. Read that in Ecclesiastes 12 and start at verse uh, 12. This is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 12 and further. And further, by these, my son, be admonished of making many books. There, are, there is no end, and much studying is a weariness of the flesh. So the, the prophet Solomon is letting us know. There's many books that are created that talk about God, but what, what that does is a weariness of the flesh. It leads you astray. It leads you away from your God. Jeez. Because there's many books. Somebody can say that 
oh, the Bible is the sole authority, but then they have a whole bunch of other books that say, oh yeah, this, this, is, this is supported, this and all that. The Bible is all you need, because the Bible tell us, one, it tell us our heritage, our culture, and it tell us about us keeping God's law. Read on. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. So the whole, the whole purpose of us living in this world is to keep God's commandments. So you can take me off the street. If I was a drug addict, you can take me off the streets, clean me up. I got a good job. I ain't doing drugs no more. But if I don't know that I got to keep God's laws, that's, that's fruitless because at the, when I die, I'm going to go to hell. I'm not going to get the kingdom. So that's the first and foremost. So you can give me all drugs, but if I'm not, I'm still breaking God's commandments, you might as well keep me on drugs. Because now I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a clean, was, I'm a clean vessel that's being led to the slaughter. Yeah. It's, it's like the blind leading the blind. Bring it and up. I said, that's a good thing to get somebody off the streets. That's an admirable thing. But with it, you got to put, okay, I'm going to get you off drugs by showing you God's laws. That's I'm going to get you off drugs what, 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 by showing you that you got to keep God's commandments. Right. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you, I'm going to take you off drugs and show you that you are king on this earth. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.